sorry I'm crossing the road here. Walking to Niagara Falls, New York. Let's see the fence around. But there's the big K right there. This big K closed in 2018. It opened in 1966. The F, excuse me, closed 2019. Bankruptcy story. Now I'm not gonna hop that fence. I've done it once before. It's not a wise idea. The cops should have shown up. Not a wise idea. But we're just gonna walk around here. Big K. Okay, so they can barely hear me the road right there. Loud noises. There is the garden shop sign. I'm surprised there's no sign saying this building's about to pitch it. You wonder who owns this property. So I'd love to be able to get some of the stuff in here because they have a lot of stuff here. A, that car corral sign. And it says no trespassing. So I wouldn't go back there even if I was even if the gate was open. Because I don't break whatever it says. There is the big K here in Niagara Falls. I said this one closed during bankruptcy. It's the only building left that throws all the letters up. You know, this is Masonica had the letters up because they were bankruptcy. Masonica is now torn down. Kmart Garden Shop. So there's a lot of stuff here I can already see outside. See, I got a deal last time when I just was here illegally. I pulled it out of the back. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit dirty, but yeah, there's the street sign on the road. And this one closed during bankruptcy. Sad this one closed. I said, I, I, I would love to see if there's like a number on here I can call. Just, uh, just, to be able, just to be able to go in there and just to like walk around. Or like... I won't do it now because of the beer virus thing, but still, I said, I know how much of we can see here. I heard the noise too, guys. Unfortunately, we're right off of the main road. But, but... It's just sad to see this came out like this, you know, and I hope something goes in here eventually. I hope it does. I doubt it will for a while. Because there's also, when I was back here too, there's a sinkhole for in the back by where receiving was. So that don't help either. By the way, that said Kmart Pharmacy. The pharmacy car was taken down. Western Union was there. Now, somebody's been here because that garbage can, I know for a fact, was not that one that was back here. I said, guys, I, I, I would just love to go in there. Just be able to, just, just not disturb anything. Just to be able to just walk around. Get some cool items. But it's just hard when there's no number on here. I mean, I probably could do some research. Probably figure it out if you guys can still hear me because of the cars. Like, I probably could do research and probably could figure it out eventually. But it would make it a lot easier if they had like a number on here. And as I said, I not I wouldn't call them during this beer virus thing. But once this thing was over, I would do it. Um, if Benerson owned this property, I would be happy. But then I know the people who run Benerson. They think that may be hard to hear me. I'm sorry. One more time. Now I could walk back there, but I'm not going to because I know for a fact there's ditches and stuff. There's nothing to really see back there anyway. The cool part is obviously see the front. And I wish we could get closer. If there wasn't a no truck passing sign and it wasn't a busy area, I would probably have to fence. I'm not gonna lie. Just to look around. Not touch the doors, not take anything, not leave anything. Just look. But with the fence here. And a no truck bathroom sign, and the fact that I know because that's when I was here, they were here for about 10 minutes. There's the big K. You're in Niagara Falls, New York. I thought I, I would just wish there was like a number on here we could like call. If there is a number, I would be 
trying to work my my magic one more time like I've done with the Kmart and the Ames. The Hamburg and at least try. Never hurts to try, you know, like if they say no, sorry, you can't go in here, it's unsafe. At least they, at least they cannot say I tried. At least I out of respect, I'm not gonna do it right now because of the But I'm not gonna do it now because of the beer virus thing that's been going on. I don't think they want to worry about me going inside of here. But just let me know when, when this thing ends. I mean, I'll probably look ahead of time to see who owns this property. That Fox Fence, that number didn't help me. The Fox Fence is a big company. They won't know who owns this property. So I don't. I know you can see that number, but there's no point in checking that number because. That's just a company of a fence company. That fence company probably has hundreds of fences. I mean, I guess I could do it as my last resort and ask who owns this property. But it probably ain't gonna help me because they don't own this property. They probably don't even know who owns this property. And there is the big K sign. I know for a fact that, I know for a fact too that I use Google Maps and that that said something on the billboard up until recently. That was also painted as well. Because, you know, Google Maps came out in 2007 and I was looking at this property. Oh, they're tearing down a car wash shoe over there. Of course, that has a fence up too. Man, wouldn't that big K sign be cool to have? God, God my parents would kill me for that. <laughs> I just love that Kmart garden shop sign. And I know somebody who has those, you know, I wonder if, 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 if what's it called? Those would come down, because I know somebody who has those. For private reasons, I'm not going to say his name. But I know somebody has those. He has a Mavis discount tire, which is still operating. But, man, I said it would just be cool just to... I know there's some stuff inside of there because it's a bankruptcy store. They said it would just be cool to just not steal, not take, just look. Now, if I had permission to take stuff, would I take it? Of course I would. I, I, I did with Kmart and the other Kmart in Hamburg, and I did with the Sears, um, or not Sears, Ames up in um, Collins, but. I'm just really surprised there's no like, number on that building. Like, do you think that the property would want to advertise themselves as for lease? Well, this building is old, but it still looks in pretty good shape for being old. And this could get some use out of it, potentially. I don't know how much use it could get, but, but it could get use. But yeah, guys, one more look there. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a big I'm going to use the subscribe button, hit that bell button, live from the old Kmart here in Niagara Falls, New York. Alex Heinsheimer's out. I will see you guys again real soon. And bye, guys.